Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, the next couple of days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Next few days, daily vibes. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. And for those of you that have sent me donations, Elizabeth sent one the other day. And I know I'm missing some names from before. Thank you to all of you that have supported me. I really, really appreciate that. What do we have for a message today? Two came out. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles reverse and the King of Cups reverse. So... Uh, not putting in effort, giving up, not putting in the work, not interested in doing the work, not doing good work. So, uh, King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is withdrawn, maybe very secretive, maybe cheats, maybe lies, um, doesn't have anything to offer emotionally. Um, we may have somebody here that's not putting in any effort because they're not emotionally invested. You know, they're not invested in it with their heart. Okay, maybe their heart is closed off or they're just not looking for a relationship or they're not looking to for the job to do the work, you know, or that kind of work or whatever it is. Um, the King of Cups in reverse can be, it is an actual person, okay? It could be a male or a female. It's more of a feminine energy. This is somebody that is in their emotions. They may not be able to communicate openly. Um, maybe very controlling maybe doesn't have good intentions um, very very secretive not very intuitive as well maybe very superficial um, we have somebody here that is not interested in giving anything emotionally to a situation because Maybe they're empty inside. Maybe they're they're cold. Maybe they're heartbroken. Maybe they've been heartbroken. Maybe they don't have anything to give. Maybe they're just emotionally unavailable. Either way, we have not interested in opening up emotionally. Are not interested in the job, not interested in the work. And there's a lack of groundedness here, though. This is somebody that probably doesn't listen to their intuition, doesn't listen to what they hear you know, inside, maybe very focused on social norms. That's what I just heard. Let's cut this deck. Strength and the Six of Cups. So strength is a card of courage, discipline, willpower, grace. Patience. The Six of Cups, it feels like there's help here. Somebody's receiving some help or they're receiving some sort of emotional support. feels like it's help. They feel for some there could be there's some this could be like peace, a peace office offering. I mean that's what it kind of looks like to me. Or it's friendship. I don't care what the book says. Y'all know that, right? Um Patience, patience. So we have something to do with patience and receiving. Somebody is going to be receiving something that they've been waiting for. 
that they've had to wait for, that they've had to wait for. For some, there could be a reunion. Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords, this person seems to be stuck, trapped in a situation. They've put themselves in it, though. This is self-imposed restrictions. We have somebody here that is in a situation that they are choosing to be in. They can break free from it. It's going to take strength. It's going to take courage and discipline to accept something Maybe there's been lies. Maybe there's been deception. Something isn't working out. We have somebody here that's not emotionally invested. Why stay? Why stay? You know, why stay in a situation that is dark and dreary and cold? So I feel like we have somebody here that is trapped right now. But they, they don't have to be. Okay, you don't have to be. You don't have to be trapped. You don't have to be. You can take that blindfold off. You can get out of the situation you're in. You may have to step forward out of your situation with strength and courage. And, you know, you may have to face your fears. You may have to master your emotions. You may have to put in some effort. We got some that fell out. Three. The first one is the emperor, which is the boss. This is the boss, the judge, the ruler, the king. Making a decision that is best for everyone involved. Now, this can be the president, right? This is the one. This is authority. Taking charge. Making a decision that brings structure. Stability. This is about getting organized putting plans in action. This is about ready. This is ready. Ready for security. Ready for stability. Ready to make a decision. And this is a wise decision. So somebody is going to be making a decision. I feel like it's not about the emotions. You have to remove the emotions from the situation. Right? This is about the facts. It's about what is working and what isn't. And we do have somebody here that has not been communicating. You know, they haven't been open. They've been restricting. There's been some sort of restrictions. There's been some, I want to say, control issues. Trying to control the situation. Something isn't working out. Somebody's not putting in effort because there's an individual here that is not emotionally in it. They may be tied to something from their past. Anyhow, the emperor is a judge, father, ruler, king. This person is in a position of authority and is making a decision. This decision is not being made uh, based on feelings, okay? It's being made, being made, <laughs> it's being made based on effort and work and skills and communication. I think there's something to do with communication here. Anyhow, the next card is the Three of Cups reversed. Now, the Three of Cups reversed is lack of joy, lack of emotional growth. There could even be a termination here. Um, could be the end of a third party. The honeymoon is over. The party is over. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no joy. There could be a lot of gossip. There could be bitchy women. Women. This can be like three people ganging up on other people, you know. You know, it's all fun and games until the authorities get involved. And I don't know how that resonates, but that's what came up.
there's overindulgence here. I feel like we have somebody here that has overindulged. And, and there's gossip and there's people talking as well. It's almost like talking at work and there's some, it could be something to do with work. You know, you got to be careful who you talk to at work, right? Because you may think they're your friend and this could be an enemy disguised as a friend, you know? Gossip travels and as it's traveling, it's changing every time. Truth, judgment, judgment is truths being revealed, it's the end of a trial, It's there's a, been some sort of deliberation, some sort of uh, review, okay, if not, there's going to be, this is a chance at a new life, you are being given a chance, this is a big announcement, this is a chance at a new life, are you ready? Are you ready? You're going to have to master your emotions. There's an opportunity to break free from your current situation where there's a lot of gossip, there's bitterness, there's there's enemies, there's... Um, it's no fun anymore. This is a chance to break free. The Three of Cups reverse is parting ways. It is parting ways. Either from a third party, friends or family. There's a lack of emotional growth. We have somebody here that is trapped in a mindset. They're emotionally, they're very unhappy, extremely unhappy. Maybe that's why they've been overindulging. It's kind of like self-medicating, right? Not putting in effort, not doing a good job. Uh, maybe even cutting corners, lying, maybe cheating. Um, maybe even trying to take credit for somebody else's work. Maybe even copying. I just heard the word copying. People think it's okay. It's not. Universe sees all. Be ready. Be ready. Get ready. This is a chance. There's a big announcement here. This is a chance at a new life. This is the end of a trial, the end of a period, the end of the deliberation. This is where judgment is passed. Are you ready to be judged? Maybe we have somebody here that has been trapped, you know, that has been stuck, that is just ready for a new life. It's, it's, like, it's like they're being given a chance and these people are like, yes, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right. Mm. King of Pentacles, reverse. So there's some sort of greed here. Selfishness. Shallowness. Overindulgence. Maybe even unfaithfulness. I mean, you have the King of Cups reversed, the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that was once in a very good position that may be losing their position because of greed, because of overindulgence, because of excessiveness. Maybe even because of impatience. Maybe there's been some sort of materialism here as well. I feel like there's materialism. I feel like there's unfaithfulness because I do see the third party. Um, we do have parting ways. We have somebody here that has, I want to say, they've been very, very greedy, very, very selfish, very, very, um, it's greed. Emotionally withdrawn and probably in denial with that blindfold, choosing not to see it. It's like, I'm not being greedy, you know. It's mine. That's what I just heard. It's mine. That's the way of the world, right? It is sad, but it is what it is. Anyhow, it is what it is. You can't change anybody. They have to be want to change themselves, right? Anyhow, judgment is the end of things. It's truths being revealed. It could be an instant realization. It's acceptance. It's absolution. It's forgiveness.
This is a big announcement. This announcement, there could be a change in leadership. I mean, we have two kings in reverse and the emperor. So there could be a change in position. We have somebody here that's not putting in effort. They're not doing good work. They're manipulating. They're using emotional manipulation. They lack integrity. They lack integrity. The higher ups, we have somebody here in a higher up position that is reviewing the situation. There is some sort of review. And we have somebody that can't see. They can't see that they're in a third party situation. Maybe they know it deep down, but they're ignoring their intuition, you know, or they don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit it. There's definitely a third party situation here. There's some sort of unfaithfulness or infidelity or overindulgence. There's also a lot of greed. So we have a smooth, smooth talker here as well. So we got four more. We got the Hermit reversed. We have the Magician reversed. We have the Star reversed and Temperance. We got four more cards and every single one of them is a major. So we got a lot of majors here. So the universe is in control. Okay. The universe is causing these changes. The universe sees all. Right? We definitely have a lack of awareness. It's very interesting because the Hermit fell on top of the Eight of Swords. The Hermit reversed. That's lack of vision. It's not seeing. It's not taking the time out to reflect. It's a need to take time out to reflect. A need to go within. A need to stop restricting yourself. Isolating yourself. You may have somebody here who has been isolating themselves. Um, not seeing maybe in the dark there, and then the magician reversed is definitely the dark it's a loss of resources it's an abuse of resources it's an abuse of power it's a no 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 somebody's being judged for inappropriate actions magician reversed is right underneath judgment so somebody has acted impulsively they've acted in an appropriate manner. They've abused their position. They've abused their power. They may have uh, used somebody else's resources or there's something about and it's interesting because underneath the, the magician reverse is the king of pentacles reversed. So this has to do with money. It has to be an abuse. It's an abuse of power. Maybe we have somebody here that is definitely very greedy, very selfish, self-centered, egotistical, conniving, a very convincing liar, a master manipulator. Somebody did not see. They did not see the manipulation. They did not see the abuse. They haven't seen the abuse, but we do have a reconciliation of past deeds here. So, you know, a judgment can go either way, right? It can. There's a, there's a plaintiff and there's a defendant, right? There is. So anyway, um, the star reverse, this, there could be some in, inhumane, somebody's not acting humanely. There could be shame. There could be guilt. There could be illness. There's despair. There could be depression. There's self-doubt. Lack of wish fulfillment. Somebody's definitely been lying, 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 lying. Um, there's a lack of awareness here, but we do have a wake-up call. We do have an awakening. Somebody um, has been hiding something or taking credit for somebody else's work. It's interesting that I mentioned copying because that came up as well. Everything changes. The last card out is the temperance card where everything does change. Everything happens for a reason. It's all part of the purpose. It's all part of your life plan. Okay, it's part of your evolution. Um, there's been definitely some sort of abuse and this abuse of power, greed, overindulgence, infidelity, whatever it is, is being judged. It is being judged. Now we have the star reverse, which is, oh my God, why is this happening? This is not what I asked for. It's not, it's happening because somebody has lied, deceived and abused their position, abused their power. You know, they, um, may have used the wrong resources or they used them in a dark way, you know, a manipulative way. They use their resources to manipulate and lie or to get their own way for their own good, for their own good. There could be a loss. There could be an unplanned loss here, unfortunately. 
due to a lack of awareness. There's in I there is. I mean, but we have a new awareness that is coming. I mean, the Hermit Reverse. This could be a midlife crisis. Honestly, somebody's been choosing not to see. They've been choosing to avoid the challenges and just maybe not even communicate or acknowledge. You know that it's time to take action. So the universe is. Bringing something to light, put it that way. Um, everything changes. Everything does change. This is timing, divine timing. It's purpose. It's acceptance. It's allowing. This is the ebb and flow. It's things coming together. This is learning some sort of lesson from a loss. Because death comes before this. So, unfortunately, I feel like there is something happening. I think there could be an unplanned loss because of somebody's inability to... open up, inability to be act with integrity. There's definitely a lack of integrity here. There's communication issues. We're having somebody here that, I don't know if they've been hiding something. They've been hiding something. But we have a reveal with judgment. So we definitely have a big reveal that is coming. I mean, that's a big announcement. There could be karma. This is being held accountable. And there's definitely some inappropriate actions here. Everything changes. Everything changes. Somebody is parting ways. Maybe they haven't wanted to be alone, so they've stayed, or they didn't, or they were being lied to. There was some sort of mental manipulation or fear. Fear. Maybe it was fear of not being accepted, fear of accepting accountability, fear of being judged. You need to have faith. And I'm saying that because of the temperance card at the in the next to the a star card reversed. This is a test of faith. It is a test of faith. Your faith is being tested. If your intuition is telling you that it's time to make a decision that is going to bring balance, peace, and harmony into your life, and it's what you want to do. And that's what you need to do. Somebody's been lying about their intentions. Or they've been hiding something. And it's about to be revealed. That's what I got. Good luck.